I've only run six foot twice. I ran in 2010 and then I ran last year in 2015. It's the most extraordinary experience, this race. It's like no other. The race started back in 1984, the 100th anniversary of the opening of the original six foot track. Um, two weeks before the race, the mayor of Katoomba, his office, contacted uh, Ian Hutchinson, who was the race director of the Manly 100 Miler. He managed in two weeks to assemble seven guys who turned up with a couple of maps, a barley sugar and not much else. And the mayor of Katoomba triggered the gun and off they set and finished five and a half hours later at Janolan Caves. So that year we had seven runners and it's continued to grow over the last 32 years. Uh, this year we had 888 runners at the start line. The start line atmosphere is like nothing else. There's a palpable sense of anticipation. There's a build up as all the coaches arrive in the dark. You've got the Rural Fire Service who've supported this event for the last 31 years continuously. They're cooking bacon and egg sandwiches for the volunteers. And as everybody comes in, there's a slow build up to the first wave, which kicks off at 7 o'clock. Six foot keeps drawing people back just to get the sheer beauty of the course. The, um, the the hard terrain, it's a, it's a challenge and you just, you just can't, let it, you can't leave it alone, you have to come back. I'm so excited to be running with my husband and my friends and I haven't done it in five years so I just want to be part of this amazing experience. Oh look, I love Six Foot Track, it's a historic route, you know, um, one of the first routes from uh, Katoomba to Janolan Caves and it's one on that you've got to do and every trail running has got to do. It's tough, yeah, it's got a lot of elevation gain and uh, downhills as well, so it's got a bit of everything this course, but yeah, at the end of the day, whoever's the, the most prepared will, will go the best. The first wave, you can see the front guys, the elite guys are at the front ready and biting at the bit to dash towards the beginning of Nelly's Glen and the descent down those 500 steps. We descent down those 500 steps. That's probably the most hazardous part of the whole race as people dash down wanting to get that strategic or tactical edge and some people come a cropper. Uh, we have a doctor at the base and we always hope they're never busy. Probably the single greatest challenge on six foot is the climb from Cox's River to the top of Cluvy. About 10 kilometers in distance, a thousand meters in elevation, and everybody has to get into their own groove and that relentless pace making their way to the very top. And when they get to the top, they want to feel good and ready to take on the Black Range. The six foot track race is a race run by runners, for runners, but it has always had the incredible support of the Rural Fire Service. 22 brigades, 17 aid stations, 31 years, 250 volunteers from the Rural Fire Service every year, 70 running volunteers. The best supported race in the country. The sweetest feeling is when you get to the top of that valley, you can hear the crowds below, you're coming on stage, everybody's cheering for you and you alone, and it might be a grimace, but you make it look like a smile as you're crossing the finish line. I started to go out a little bit easier. Um, I had a little bit of a tumble just before Cox's and so just the rest of it was just trying to trying to maintain a pace and I, I caught the guys on halfway to mini mini on the first hill after Cox um, and the rest was just a struggle just trying just trying just always looking around just trying to keep the gap and lucky enough I was running the whole way just a bit scared but they didn't, they didn't come so I'm stoked.